Coming up now, let's quickly put out those details. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya has also received a call from the Prime Minister. Jain Chaudhary has also received the call. So more names coming in on who are likely to be seen at Prime Minister Narendra Modi. PM designate Narendra Modi's residence at 11:30 a.m. when they gather for a meet and greet. There's going to be a tea event that's going to take place at Narendra Modi's residence. Arunima, my colleague, joins us. With more details, Arunima, very good morning to you. It's going to be an action-packed Sunday indeed, and we continue to pick up more names on who all have received a call from uh, Narendra Modi's uh, re for a Narendra Modi's residence. There's going to be a gathering at 11:30 a.m. We're understanding Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, Jayant Chaudhary. You know, they won from their respective constituencies. Who else are going to be making it to uh, his residence at 11:30 a.m.? What have we learned so far, Arunima? Shivraj Singh Chauhan, a big name, former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, won by over 8 lakh vote margin from Vidisha. Uh, you know, it was believed that the Madhya Pradesh Assembly election win uh, was because of his Ladli Behna Yojana, but he was soon removed as the Chief Minister of the state. So he's one of the first ones who received a call this morning, and soon after, he took the flight from Bhopal and landed in Delhi. He will be at the Prime Minister's residence for the Chai Party. It will be interesting to note what portfolio he gets. Another colleague from Madhya Pradesh, formerly a Congress Minister, now with the Bharat Janta Party. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya also got a call just a, just a few minutes back. He's also been asked to be present at the Prime Minister's uh, Tea Party, likely to take oath as a Cabinet Minister as well. Uh, you know, you ju just heard uh, JDU's current Rajya Sabha MP, uh, Karpuri Thakur's uh, son, Ramnath Thakur, also speak to Shereen. He's received a call. He's likely to be uh, in the MOS position in uh, the Union Council. Lalan Singh, the other JDU uh, MP, considered a close confidant of Nitish Kumar, he could take oath as a uh, you know, a, a, a cabinet minister. Some of the big names uh, from the earlier Union Council who are still waiting for calls. Uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, one from Udhampur, handsomely. Kirun Rijiju, the face from Arunachal Pradesh. Anurag Thakur, Minister of Inf Information and Broadcasting. These are all likely names who are, uh, you know, you, the BJP Karakartas, their supporters are all waiting for the calls to go through. Uh, so as the clock is ticking towards 11.30, when that chai party is about to begin, uh, you know, there are some nervous, some anxious moments on these, uh, you know, Luton's bungalow. Uh, some have, are already celebrating, uh, the laddus have been ordered, others are waiting with a lot, lot of anticipation. Okay, all right. So, several big names of the Bharatiya Janata Party and several allies as well who've already received calls early this morning for the tea gathering, the event that's going to take place at uh, uh, PM designate Narendra Modi's residence and he'll be sworn in at 7.15 PM. Now, who all are going to take oath alongside him is the big question and all eyes on the several people who've received calls early this morning. We have Pallavi Ghosh with us. Aman also continues to stay on with us. Pallavi, if I can come to you next. Uh, you know, it's going to be a very interesting day. Before that, uh, quickly taking a word from Aman as well. The host of names we've managed to access so far include Ramnath Thakur. We've just spoken to him. The Shivrat Singh Chauhan as well. A brilliant mandate that's been given uh, to the firebrand leader, Aman. Apart from that, Arjun Ram Meghwal, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, Jain Chaudhary, Nitin Gatkari and Rajnath Singh are also expected to get a, a berth, a cabinet berth this time around. Those are some of the expected names. Like uh, Arunima was highlighting, there are those who are yet to receive a call. All eyes are on whether or not and how soon will the likes of uh, Anurag Thakur, Kiran Rijiju, etc. receive a call. What's the mood on the ground? What are you picking up from the BJP camp? And what are we to expect in the next few minutes? There's going to be a tea party at the PM designate residence as well. Yeah, Kritsuin, there's still an hour to go for that tea party to begin. So we will just hold on. To people who have not got calls, they may get calls in the next few minutes or the next uh, by 11 a.m. also because the people are in Delhi itself. So let's wait for the finality. But I think the people who have got calls so far, very, very significant names. Uh, number one, you know, the Bharat Ratna recipients, kin of Bharat Ratna recipients getting into the Union Council of Ministers, Mr. Jayan Chaudhary and Mr. Uh, Ramna Thakur. So both these people, you know, who have, whose uh, uh, Karpuri Thakur and Chaudhary Charan Singh were given the Bharat Ratna, their kin, both will be in the Union Council of Ministers. The major messaging move, Jayan Chaudhary is also somebody who delivered both the seats uh, of Bagpat and Bijnor, which were given to him in this particular uh, 
uh, seat arrangement in the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, uh, similarly, I think Shivra Chauhan is a big story. Uh, I believe he will be getting a good, big, important portfolio in the Union Council of Ministers, a multiple-time Chief Minister who delivered the state of Madhya Pradesh elections, a record verdict with 165 seats in the recently uh, December Madhya Pradesh elections. After that, he fought himself from Vidisha, bought fawn by over 1, 8 lakh votes. Madhya Pradesh was a clean sweep. All, all seats were swept by the uh, BJP. And now he's making that shift from the state politics, from being a multiple time PM, CM to the center. I think his experience of administration, his experience of running the bureaucracy will be invaluable for the Narendra Modi government. I see him getting a top, one of the top ministries, maybe. Uh, also, Jyotiratya Sindhya, considered, you know, uh, who won from uh, his Guna seat by a big margin as well, somebody who's revived the fortunes of the BJP in that entire Gwalior Chambal region for the civil aviation minister earlier. Also expecting a big portfolio for Jyoti Ratya Sindhya. Of course, Mr. Rajna Singh, Mr. Nitin Gadkari are the topmost faces in this government. In the CCS, Mr. Rajna Singh has been the home minister earlier. He was the defense minister in the second term of the Modi government. It would be interesting to see what put, I, 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 many people say he'll be continuing as a defense minister. Let's see what happens. We'll know by evening what the clarity on that will come. But I think big names coming also from the allies. Uh, I would say Lalan Singh from the JDU, full-time cabinet minister to be expected to be full-time cabinet minister, another close confidant of uh, 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 the chief minister, uh, Nitish Kumar. Also, I think the names which are coming from the JDU, I think very, very important, you know. Uh, the, uh, the, both the names which have been given uh, now uh, for, from the JDU and have been confirmed by the JDU camp, in fact, uh, K. Ram Mohan Naidu, the three-time MP, a young face, you know, coming into the uh, cabinet. He'll be a full-time cabinet minister. Another important portfolio awaits him in the Modi uh, cabinet. Uh, his uh, counterpart, Mr. Chandrasekhar Pemasani, could be the MOS uh, in the uh, Modi cabinet as well. All these big names being done. Jayan Chaudhary, as I said, Chirag Paswan, H.D. Kumaraswamy, another big name who's got a call. H.D. Kumaraswamy is set to become a cabinet minister. He has only two MPs, but Karnataka is somewhere that the JDS BJP alliance worked very well, and Prime Minister has a lot of regard for H.D. Devagoda. H.D. Kumaraswamy, I believe, will be a full time cabinet minister. We are also waiting for other people to get calls. We know Jitin Manji is meeting Mr. Amit Shah right now. So let's see if he's getting into the cabinet, uh, council of ministers or not. Okay, I'm on a quick question to you before I take in a word from Pallavi on what the opposition scenario is looking like this morning. But, uh, you know, we've been talking about the formula that the NDA may settle for and sources have been indicating that it may be one cabinet berth for both TDP and JDU and one MOS berth. But the numbers, the names that we're learning uh, are exceeding that. So can we expect more inductions from key allies like the JDU and the TDP as well? Aman? Yes, there are one, uh, one full cabinet minister and one MOS. That is the formula offered to both the TDP and the JDU. You know, the, the earlier the uh, thing was the TDP may get two MOSs, but I think the government, uh, is, uh, the BJP has stuck to the same formula for the JDU uh, and the, uh, the TDP. Uh, that is what we are hearing right now. One full cabinet minister, one MOS and these parties, you know, TDP has 16 seats and the JDU has 12 seats. So I think that is the formula being drawn up. Shivde, Eknath Shinde could get a full-time cabinet minister post. He has seven uh, MPs right now and so is Chirag Paswan is getting a full-time cabinet minister because he's LJP has five seats. That is, I think, the formula. One full cabinet minister and one OMS for the two uh, bigger partners in the NDA, the TDP and the JDU. And for the rest, one cabinet minister or one MOS depending okay. on their number in the NDA alliance. Okay, all right. Many thanks for that, Aman. Stay on with us, Pallavi. Uh, like I said, what is the opposition mood looking like? There are several who've come out to say that we're going to go ahead with the boycott decision. We're not going to be in attendance as far as the swearing-in ceremony is concerned. But interestingly, Malik Arjun Kharge, given his constitutional duties and the post uh, that uh, you know he continues to hold, he is in all likelihood going to be in attendance. Well, I mean, I, I, these are the information that we have been giving out since morning and I think yesterday Mamata Banerjee made it very clear that the Trinamool Congress will not be a part of the oath-taking ceremony. Look, from the day the results have come in, as far as the India Front and Opposition Parties are concerned, they don't see it as a mandate for the Prime Minister to take oath for the third time round. Uh, they just don't have the numbers, which is perhaps why they're waiting and watching. Uh, there is no guarantee that they would get those numbers. But I think they've made the intention very clear 
that from day one itself, it's going to be full-on confrontation with the government. First of all, the strategy is that you reject him, the entire idea of him being a legitimate prime minister. That's the reason why they will not want to go for the oath. Uh, Mr. Kharge, of course, apart from being the party president, is more important a leader of the House. It's a constitutional position. If you say you abide by the constitution, you stand by it, then I guess you have to fulfill those responsibilities as well.